let's learn how to take a flat vector and turn it into an awesome isometric 3D map using this free Photoshop action. The action we're going to be using today is called Mapita and you can find it at bluegraphic.com. I have left the link in the description below. So come to Mapita, scroll to the bottom, and to get this action for free, just enter your email address and click send me the download link. From there, you need to download two files, the mapita.zip file and the buildings.zip, which contains free PSD files that you can use on the map. So once you've downloaded the zip files, locate where they're downloaded. Mine are in my plugins folder. And all you have to do is double click each zip file to open the folder inside. Inside the Mapita folder, you'll have an actions folder, a patterns folder, and a styles folder. So if I come into this other Mapita folder here, these are the five files you need to install in Photoshop. So there's three in actions, the desert, grass, and snow, one in patterns, the mapita.pat, and finally there's a styles file as well to install. I've pulled all five out into this folder so you can see them. So once you're ready, come into Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, create a new document. Come to File, New. The makers of Mapita recommend a width of 2000 pixels and a resolution of 300. So I'm going to set my file to 2000 by 1000, set a resolution of 300, RGB color mode, click Create. Next, load in the Patterns, Actions and Styles. Window, Actions, click the icon in the top right, Load Actions. Locate the Actions, so mine are in my Plugins folder. Select Mapita, select Desert, hold Shift, press Snow to select all three actions and then click open to load them into Photoshop. Next, load in the patterns. So if you can't find the patterns panel, go to window, patterns, top right icon again, import patterns, locate the folder again, and find the .pat file and press open to load this in. Once loaded, check that it's there. So you can see there's my Mapita patterns folder. And finally, let's load in the styles. So window, styles. So you can see I've already loaded it in. But if you haven't, right hand icon, import styles, locate the folder for a third time, locate the .asl file and press open to load in the pattern. Next, let's bring in a flat vector layer. We can open this file directly in Photoshop, file open and make sure you open as a smart object. Or we can come into Illustrator, as I have done here, I've got a flat map of the US. So I'm gonna select this layer, simply press Command or Control C to copy, switch back into Photoshop, and then Command or Control V to paste. Make sure you paste as a smart object and press OK. Let's turn the styles off. I'm gonna hold Alt and just drag this down so that I've got more space to work with on the canvas. Press Enter to confirm. Rename this layer map, so double click vector smart object layer, type map, and now make sure this layer is selected. So now we're ready to apply the action. So come to window, actions. There you can see my map, desert, grass, and snow have been added. You can see Mapita is in my patterns panel. It's also in my styles panel, so I've got everything in I need loaded. So I'm gonna go with grass, open the folder, select action one, and press play with the map layer selected. Now you may notice a glitch with this action that once it's run, you don't see the isometric map at the end. This has happened to me multiple times. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So if I just close my action tab here, what I found, if you command or control Z to undo and you un undo multiple times, after a few times, that does seem to get you to the isometric map layer. There you go, I command and Z four times and there is my map. So I don't know why it does that, it's a glitch with the action, but that should sort out the glitch and then get you your finished map. From here now, if I pull my layers up, I'm gonna select my bottom map layer, scroll to the top, select my top, hold shift, and I'm gonna command G to group these together. So now I've got group one, that's my map, I'm gonna call that base map. And now if I switch auto select to group, and select base map, I can now use the transform tools to make this map bigger and smaller and put it more in line with the canvas size. Once I'm done, press enter. And with your base map now complete, you can finally add the extras. Come to file, open, locate the buildings.zip and buildings folder. So mine's in my plugins folder. And in the buildings now, you'll see there are a number of pre-made Photoshop files that you can open and drag into your map layer. You've got houses, got shops, lots of different trees, and many other items. So let's open a house and a tree, press open. 
make sure my auto select is set to group and I can simply select this group layer, command C to copy, come back into my map page and then command V to paste. And if I zoom out now using command or control minus, I can then use the transform tools to make this smaller and drag it around on the map, press enter when I'm happy with the size and then to make my life easier, then I can rename these different groups. So let's call this tree one. And there you go, so spend enough time on it and in the end you'll have something like this. So there you have it. That's how to use the free Map Eater Action Pack to take any flat vector map and turn it into this beautiful isometric map and then add the additional PSD files like the buildings and the trees to bring the map to life. A massive thanks to Blue Graphic for this amazing free resource and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for the next tutorial.